It's Matt Damon! Elysium! Alright, so Elysium is a science fiction action movie directed by Neil Blomkamp, the guy who brought District 9. In this movie, we follow Max, played by Mick Damon. <laughs> He's all Love that. That joke will never get old. Team America, guys, enough said. There's two worlds. There is the overcrowded Earth, which is where pretty much everyone lives, the poor, where everyone's sick there, and then there is the world of Elysium, which is like this... Halo-like ring with a star in the middle. Yeah, with a star in the middle, where um, where basically the wealthy live. Like any disease you have, STDs, d c cancer, cancer leukemia. boom. Like, you could have like no bones in your body. Don't fix it for you, just like that. That's insane. And so basically, Max, after a factory accident, learns that he has a very he has a cancer-like disease in his body, and it's destroying internal organs in which he only has five days left to live. So basically, he straps on this badass exoskeleton. Remind me a lot of Bionic Commando in a huge way. And he tries to get to Elysium before he dies. So you guys know who this cool cat is right here. Lucas, LC Store 16. Don't LC do that. LC <laughs> can't see your muscles. <laughs> Elysium's a great movie. It's oh, yes. definitely a really good time. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go see it. Mick oh, yes. Gaming kills Mick it. Gaming. <laughs> and also the villain. The Shalto Copeland. Shalto Copeland. Who Copley. was in District 9. The, the hero in District 9. District 9, who is now the villain in Elysium. Oh my god, that guy was He was menacing as yes. hell. Even though there was one line that I thought was so cheesy during yeah. his fights with Matt Oh Damon. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I'm just getting story. started. <laughs> that was... <laughs> <laughs> right now, the best parts of the movie are the action scenes, and also Max's Matt Damon's friend, Matt, um, Will it, William, I think it was, or William, or was it Spider? Or, or no, oh, no, William. Was, oh, the, oh, the guy that helps him out. Yeah, the long yeah, guy. yeah. It was a great movie. Overall. Yeah, it's a good experience. How they played, how they did, like some of the sound effects as well. Oh like my when they God. did the, some of the shots in the movie, where it just comes completely black and you hear the vibrations. Oh and yeah, especially where Max kills the robot with those yeah. like air bullets. That, that, that was insane. That was awesome. And plus, plus, I'll let you guys know, spoiler, there was a part where a guy's face gets partially blown off, which was awesome. This was insane. The visual effects in this movie are cool. Oh, I mean, yeah, really that's cool. the thing I love about this movie when it comes to the director. Neil Blomkamp, he is a visual master. Not like the next there, because there are some shots, like in Manchester, where you can notice there was maybe a bit of a green screen. With this one, you can't notice, I couldn't notice any green screen. Like, all the CGI was blended so naturally. Frey? This girl, oh, like, oh Frey. yeah, yeah, she, Frey, She yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. But Kit, like, the kid, eh. You can, yeah. there's a different, it's still a really good movie, yeah. a lot of fun, and I definitely think you could go, go see it this weekend, because there are not many other good movies coming out this weekend. Yeah. Nope, do not see Percy Jackson's Sea Monsters, do not see Where the Mill is, <laughs> do not see, especially the worst of them all, Planes. Ugh, Planes. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, this is the best out, of, best out of these movies, and it's definitely worth checking out, because... It's definitely a really cool sci-fi action film. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, of course, Mick Damon is Mid one of the Damon. best parts of the entire thing. Charlton Copley, I think he was the star of this film. He's a villain. He was like, as as hell. Yeah, in District 9, he was just a bumbling, he was a hero. And this one, he was like a cold-hearted killer. Yeah, especially one interaction with him and Frey, like the oh first time. Oh my god. It's like, this guy has range here. I mean, like, he was... So good. I'm wondering, why is he not in more movies? Cast him in Star Wars Episode 7. He would be a fantastic villain in that movie. Frey, I thought, she, yeah, she was good. The star of this entire film is, honestly, for me, it's the visual effects. Because, great. because there is no visual effect in this film that didn't look hokey. There is a lot of great action scenes. There's a lot of great cinematography. There's this one scene where, after Max kills the robot, there's this really awesome shot that, like, it where it follows them. It's like well, the robot starts to no, 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 no. It was a shot that was letting afterwards it was it was just like it had this like little motion blur to it oh yeah yeah i, I was like oh my god the cinematography is so amazing in this film just like the visual effect the biggest comparison i could draw to this from any game was bionic command with, with like the exoskeleton and everything it's a great film now in terms of cons if you guys loved district 9 you could like elysium or people who like district 9 you're gonna love elysium or or i mean i've heard differently like people who love district 9 loved elysium i've heard i've heard you know, back and forth in between. For me, I love District 9. I thought this was great. I did love this movie. I thought it was great, because here's the thing, though. Many great performances, although I got my Jodie Foster. Yeah, I she fell a bit over the top in this movie. Yeah. Plus, there was a subplot involving a kid in this film, and I was like, I don't really care about that kid. I just want Matt Damon to get cured. Matt Damon needs to be cured. Me. <laughs>
Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of great, oh my god, holy crap moments in the oh, movie. Yeah. There's tons of them. But like, other than that, Elysium is a great time of the theaters. I, if yeah. you're a science fiction fan, I highly recommend you guys see it. It's, we pretty much have the same con. Yeah. The movie. Except I find it a bit better. I, I, I feel oh. like I'm close to loving it. I am going to give Elysium a four and a half out of oh, five stars. Right. It is definitely worth a movie ticket price. It's definitely worth checking out this mm -hmm. weekend because yeah. place it. But this weekend's not like, really going to be really good. I think Elysium's going to knock it out of the park. Oh, take, yeah. Like, most of the box office money this week. I like this a little bit less. Just a little bit less, but that is not denied. I had a great time with this movie. So I'm going to give Elysium a four out of five stars. I love District 9. I liked Elysium a lot. Great job, Neil Blomkamp. I cannot wait for your follow-up film. They better start me demons. Oh, next. God. <laughs> so that was our review of Elysium. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next review, we will see you guys next time. See you there and stay awesome. Uh, seriously, do it. Do it. Do it.